Hey everybody, it's Michael from Plan Academy. Nice to see you again. I'm maker of awesome Primavera P6 courses. Check them out at planacademy.com. Today is the first time I do an EPPM video, and that's cool because actually, as of December of 2020, there's some new features in EPPM, and that's what we're talking about in this video. We're specifically, we're talking about assignment codes if you didn't see it, check out my last video where I talked about how you can use assignment codes to replace cost accounts. Now, one of the things about working with any kind of code is getting that data into P6. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do it with Excel. That's right, you can import assignment codes from Excel right into P6 very easily, but gotta use EPPM. So, you also need to be an EPPM administrator. This has to be done by an administrator. Let's see how it works. Here we go. Okay, I'm logged into EPPM. I'm on my administration tab here, and I'm in the enterprise data area. I wanna import assignment codes. And so I've gone down to the assignment codes area, which is under resources. And here are a couple assignment codes that are already here. No problem. So check out this link down here at the bottom. We have import export enterprise data. So if you click that, what you can do is export what's currently there. Now this is an important step. Don't go right to import because what we want to do is we want to figure out the template for how the data needs to be set in Excel to import. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go to resources here and assignment codes and we'll go ahead and click export and export that out. Now I did that before the video, so let me show you what that looks like. This is the Excel spreadsheet that comes out. This is the export Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so as you can see, there's a particular template and a way that these things need to be set up for us to be able to re-import them back. One of the things you probably know if you've ever done any importing in P6, you got to preserve that top row. Don't mess with any of the values up there, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay. Now, I want to add some additional values, so let's go ahead. And I've got some additional rows I'm going to import back into my database. So, added a bunch, and let's save that. Okay, let's do the import section now. Let's click Import Export Enterprise Data again. And on this import tab, let's go pick the file that we're going to import. And there it is there. We'll click open. Great. Now, as you can see, it read the file and it can see that there are resources and assignment codes. So we're going to say yes all to all of that. And we'll go ahead and click the import button. Click. Now it says job submitted. In EPPM, anytime you import or export, there's a background job that happens. And you can click this button that says view service status if you want, or you can click OK. And what you'll see is there's a notification area up here at the top right, and we can click there and see any notifications that we have. You can see it's a little slow, but there's my notification that popped up, and it says the job completed successfully. Great, so we can close that notification. And all I need to do is refresh this screen. So all I'll do is just go to a different tab and then come back to assignment codes and I will now see that I have the additional assignment codes that I was in my spreadsheet. So importing stuff, global data specifically, maybe not all of it, but importing assignment codes is a lot easier in EPPM than it is in P6 Professional because we have a very basic Excel spreadsheet that lets us import and export. Now, don't forget, you need to be an administrator or work with an administrator to be able to import this stuff and make sure you know what you're doing when you're importing global data, not overwriting stuff that's already there. You can make a mess, so caveat, do a backup of your database before you do any major big imports. So that's a wrap for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out all of our other videos, and I will see you again soon. Happy planning.